whatever barrier has been fighting you today, they are losing grip over you. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. Whether it is sponsored or you sponsored it, today it must lose you by fire. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. We are going to lift up our voice, Lord, let this service answer for me. Everything that this service contains in terms of blessing, favor, turn around, deliverance, Lord, let my portion be delivered. Lift up your voice and talk to God right now. Every blessing, every package you have ordained for me in this service, let my portion be fully delivered. I am going home with my full scale package. Nothing short of the blessing. Nothing short of the breakthrough. Lord, do a quick walk in my life in this service. You did not give me a limited destiny. Whatever wants to limit me, any invisible barrier, any invisible wall, let them be crushed today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Make that amen glorious. Whatever has been fighting your finance today, you are going home free. I remember that man, I'm going to, we're going to take one prayer. He came to tell me that um, he saw someone some years back, came and pulled the cord of his generator and was trying to stop him and the man still went ahead and did it. And after that incident, his finances went down. I want to say on this altar that whoever that man is, he will die today. Yeah. If the person is in church, Hear me and hear me well. Your suffering ends in this service today. And whatever was done against you mysteriously will be revoked and reversed in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. And anyone that I must be manipulated and things are going down in your hand, there is going to be a quick restoration for you. There is going to be a forceful deliverance for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It is done. It's my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard shall be the order of the day in my life. If you don't want to be a victim in life, then refuse to stay with tradition as it was in the beginning, is now, so shall it be, forever and ever. Now lie, not in this kingdom. If you don't want to be a victim in life, refuse to be tied down by tradition. That's how our fathers were doing it. Those days when we are we just um, we are still young boys from secondary school. I remember we used to hear one big name in about them, Mark, Mike Merchandise. Who have heard of that name? He has faded away. What did I say? He has faded away. Wealth moves like a wind. If you are not growing in wisdom, you will miss out of it. They were the barbers of those days. But they are washed out now. Why? They didn't move with the trend. I want to say to someone here that wisdom for creating wealth flows in the direction of thoughts. Say with me, thoughts. Wisdom for wealth flows in the direction of thoughts. 
scripture said, Proverbs 23, verse 7, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Any person on anything that is not increasing your thoughts with good thoughts is enlarging your capacity for poverty. Whoever is pumping your mind with bad thoughts now is enlarging your mind to go down financially. Because wealth is crafted in the mind. And when the mind loses its capacity, I bet you nothing good will come out from your life. Jesus himself said, take heed to what you hear. The mind is the center of inspiration. The mind is the floodgate of ideas. The mind is the floodgate of insight. When the mind is incapacitated, it cannot flow. It doesn't work. By my very privileged study of people who are wealthy, I've discovered that when you are going up higher, they distance themselves from negative thinkers. People who every time, the only thing they do is to tell you bad, bad things or they tell you about people that they don't like or people that they want you to coerce to hate. They don't have time for such things. No wonder they said <laughs> average people talk about people. But great minds discuss ideas. Wisdom for creating words is rooted in his word. In what? Words paint pictures. Words communicate thoughts. Words channel ideas. Money was never a factor for creation. Genesis chapter 1 reading from verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. Verse 3, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Psalm 104 verse 24 Psalm 104, verse 24. Oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of what? Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 10. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 10. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. So wisdom begat riches. Riches is a product of wisdom. The Sony Corporation in Korea has this slogan. Good thinking, good product. I don't have any problem with what you are thinking. It's just a question of time. Your product will emerge. I don't need to bother to know what you are thinking. In no distant time, your product will emerge. So the creative power for wealth is rooted in the wisdom of God. 
And I want to let you know that every one of you seated here now, we have access to that wisdom. I said you have access to that wisdom. Christ, the power and the wisdom of God. So if Christ is in you, you have access to that wisdom. The wisdom which the Holy Ghost teaches. The world you desire is not in any nation or any oil company. It is in the wisdom of God. The greatest prayer of Solomon, what will you have me do for you? Give me wisdom. And God says, is that the only thing you will ask? It's okay. Apart from wisdom, I will give you riches. I will give you this. I will give you that. When God brought Israel out of Egypt, they carried what we call a slavery mentality. And if you carry a slavery mentality, you are captive of your own self. You are a captive of your own self. My people are going into captivity for the lack of knowledge. Hosea 4 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you cannot create wealth except you are in charge of your mindset. As I'm talking now, there are some people that are not in charge of their mindset, they are influenced, manipulated. Controlled. When someone begins to control your thinking, check your direction, check your behavior, it will show. It's a sign that you have lost touch. You are no longer in charge. Somebody is in charge. When you are not in charge of your mindset, you lack what we call the power of initiative. You cannot follow your instincts. Every human being has an instinct. Even rat has an instinct. Fish has an instinct. They know when to sense danger and they run away. But human beings, when they see danger, they put their head. God has instincts. Bushmeat has instincts. When you lose your mindset, you lose control. Many are born again, but they are still thinking poor. Oh, if not for this man, I will have gone far. Oh, if not that they sent me to Lafia, my story will have changed since. Poverty is not because of your location, but because of your mind. Even God himself said, I, the Lord, can do nothing without your mind. Without what? Without your mind. No wonder Paul said, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind. Say with me, my mind. Whatever you cannot see in your mind will never take place in your life. Whatever you cannot see in your mind. Anything that will take place in your life, your mind is the center of image formation. That's why they call it imagination, image formation. 
images are created. When those images are printed, they bring out colorful pictures. True of us. If you carry a film now, you look at it, you don't like the thing, but by the time they process that image, something good has come out of it. Reading Genesis chapter 1 and 2, we we'll discover that creativity started with God, but it did not end with God. That's why in Genesis chapter 1, if you read from verse 28 now, we'll see what happened. When God has finished everything, look at what happened. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Replenish, multiply, replenish, multiply, be fruitful. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful in your thinking, be fruitful, and multiply. Replenish means replicate, reproduce, bring to pass again. So by implication, we have been made co-creators with God. So when, when they say you are blessed, it means that you have been empowered you have been enabled to generate things, good things. Good things. That's what be blessed is an empowerment. To deliver good results. God created the tree, but he didn't create furniture. Am I saying the truth? God created three. He didn't create an exercise book. A exercise book came from Melina three. Oh, you don't know? God gave man apple, but he didn't give us apple juice. Yes, now. Did he give us apple juice? He gave us leaf. Did he give us biro? Now, what you are wearing is leaf. Oh, oh you don't know. You don't know it's leaf that you are wearing. This is modified leaf. Oh, it's true. Clothes came from carbon. Now leave you. This is the modified leaf. Adam was wearing the natural leaf. You are wearing the modified leaf. You are wearing the replenished leaf. <laughs> Am I saying something to somebody? You see this glass you are wearing now? Morocco. It's made from silicon. Silicon is an element in rock. You see the shoe you are wearing? Nani Malo. Oh, you don't know? Your shoe is made from animal skin. He gave you goat. But he didn't give you shoe. Can you see what I'm talking about? He gave you stick, but he didn't give you toothpick. I hope you know now that Nigeria is importing toothpick from Malaysia. Toothpick. And we have, we have the trees boku in this country. Lebanese came to Kogi State to set up fruit juice. Chivita and you they drink.
So your financial dominion is tied to your ability to create. Tell your neighbor, create. You see this thing ladies are wearing? It's not natural hair. Oh, you, you never know. You can know now. <laughs> it's not natural hair. It's still the same fabricated carbon elements. That's why you have them in different brands. Some people are now white. Some are brown. Some are black. Some are a mixture of black and brown. Some are pink like this girl. <laughs> Your ability to create is tied to you receiving ideas from God. If you lack idea, your poverty is overconfirmed. If you lack idea, your poverty is overconfirmed. How many of us know that there was no NAFDAQ before? How many of us know? There was no NAFDAQ before. It's some man that gave NAFDAQ job. Those days they used to sell, I used to sell bottle, uh, water in local cell bottle and dry gin bottle. After a while, they started doing it in cellophane. Am I correct? From cellophane now, the thing was now becoming rampant. That was how ceiling machine started. I have my own ceiling machine there now. <laughs> I go see the tire, my back go pay me. After a while, NAVDAC came. That was how NAVDAC came. Before, what we have was a standard uh, organization of Nigeria. That was meant to be pursuing people in uh, in the industries. Navdak now came, and the first assignment was they have was pure water. Am I saying the truth? If you lack idea, I pity you. You don't look like a child of God. You look like. Satan. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Poverty begins when you begin to lack idea. That's when, when someone says say that uh, I don't even know what else to do. You are a liar. There is something that you can do. Go and throw away that China for now. There are three kinds of idea. Number one, we call it the natural idea, which is in the class of common sense. Everybody here has common sense. Even madmen have common sense. Are you wrong saying now? If a madman stands on the road and motor is coming out, common sense is telling him come off a road. True or false? You carry him now, you want to flog a madman. You know you want to come and beat him. Common sense will tell him run away. Am I saying the truth? Common sense is available to all. I was watching somebody posted something on Facebook for me. A little boy, they locked the entrance to their house, but it's this uh, kind of um, protector. A small, small boy. He started climbing the, the protector. He climbed and climbed and crossed over and entered and now ran into the house who gave him sense to climb what now you are talking common sense told him that uh, you can climb this thing he did not think whether he will break his hand he did not think whether he will break his head he did not think what if I fall common sense climb she went into the house Climb, you go like this, enter, drop, you yeah, don't enter the house. 
Everybody has common sense. But should I tell you something? Common sense is not common. It's not common. It's available to all. That's why they call it common sense. But it is not common. So if you are poor, it is your fault. No which do you. No which do you. Now you do yourself. If you are not making progress, you are responsible. Because you have what we call common sense. Number two, we have what we call intellectual ideas. You go to school to get intellectual knowledge. But should I tell you something? School only informs you But you need ideas to transform you. That's why when we graduated from university, we learned how to package CV. That's a high-level slavery mentality. We begin to package CV. Oh, they say this design is not good. It's not like this. I'm a good team player. <laughs> not being where they use get work. Oh. <laughs> That's why if you tell a graduate now, go and learn this key. You say, no, I want to work with my certificate. First class. First class in theory. Not in practical. Life is practical. School only informs you. It does not give you an edge in the society. You only take advantage of what you have known now to chart your course. So, if you are waiting for when NMPC will call you, be waiting. No? If you are waiting when Central Bank will give you employment, just be waiting. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? May you not grow white hairs like me. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? That's intellectual knowledge. It's just to give you a, a knowing of what is happening. That does not mean that, uh, okay, how many times have you leaked your certificate and money come out from it? First class. <laughs> Some people will still wake up and they'll be looking at me. Hey, see my results. But in life, you don't have any results. Until money enters your pocket, you don't have results. True or false? Because scripture says money answered all things. I'm provoking somebody. From today, your head will be correct. The next kind of ideas we have is divine or inspired idea. Every other kind of idea can inspire. But a divine idea can never aspire for any covenant child of God. Dr. Sam Ademi wrote a book, Ideas Rule the World. Ideas is the currency of destiny. God can give you an idea now in fragments. He expects you to turn it into something big. Idea comes in trinkles, in fragments. Here a little, there a little. Now, do you see that design you are wearing? You, you. Do you see that design you are wearing? Hmm? Stand up now, fine man. Correct. You see this design? It's somebody's idea. So we are paying for somebody's idea. Sit down. There's a lady in Jaws. Mommy, stand up. You. Yes. No, not you. There's a lady in Jaws. You see this material you people are commonizing? 
If this woman repackaged this cloth for you, you go pay through your nose. She has what we call classy customers. When I mean classy, I mean classy. To make one out of this material that you are commonizing, you pay nothing less than 50, 60,000. How many of how many persons can afford it? One from this kind of material. Ideas put money in your hand. Sit down. But when you go to market, oh, it's seven fifty. Oh, it's one fifty. Go and rebrand it. You will now know that it is more than seven fifty. If you lack idea, you will lack money. But if you if you get idea, things will begin to work. I was sharing with our, our staffs the other day. I said, don't limit yourself to this place. This place is just a platform for greater heights. One of Papa's peers, his name is uh, Dicky Mike Ewewe. He was PA stroke, personal treasurer. But the wife was so gifted. How many of us used to drink yogurt those days in uh, Kenaland? 1999, 2000, good. It was the man's wife that was doing it. So later, when Covenant University came now, they now came with their own Hebrew yogurt. They wanted to push the woman away, say, now lie, oh. now me God give this business. If you want to start, start your own. They did everything to stop and say, for where? At most, I pack out from this company, but my you got to not go enter your hand. Today, they are living in their own Emperor building. You know, if you are not succeeding, Papa can't mention your name. I'm telling you the truth. Now, Papa, cause, uh, have you seen my son, Mike Wewe? If you are not succeeding, you are a bastard. I tell you true. They're not gonna call you. But when you are succeeding, have you seen my son Mike Wewe? He's doing well. If you don't have idea, you don't colo. Are you wrong say now? The end point of your colo is that your pocket is always dry. Your pockets will never be dry. Job 32 verse 8. There is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty showeth him what to do. God can never leave you dry. He will always show you. Tell your neighbor, show you. God is a shower. Laban cheated Jacob for good 14 years. He cheated him well. After serving him for the first seven years, he said, eh, go another seven years so that I can pay you complete. When God needed to pay Jacob, he gave him one idea. Say with me, one idea. Jacob did not go to any university to study genetic mutation. It was just an idea. Just paint the peg as they come to drink water and the thing is entering their eye. Image will be formed in whatever they are carrying. He said, and if the carry spot, tell him that uh, since he doesn't want the spotted one, you will take all the one that carry spot. And that was how he did it. He went and planted pegs. When the ships come to drink water, they will be looking at the thing. The thing will be forming an image in them. That's why anything you are looking at, anything you are always giving attention to, will be forming an image in you. That's why you have to be very careful. I said it in the starting. Wealth travels in the direction of thoughts. Thoughts form images. If it's a bad image that is forming in you, I guarantee you, you will be a poor man. You must be careful what you allow as thoughts that to drop inside of you. Let them be dropping small, small. They are forming image, little by little. 
little by little. Before you know what's happening, it will become magnified. All of a sudden, majority of their pigs we are now spotted. Laban said, I don't want this spotted one. Take them, take them. The son now came to realization and said, send this man away for he is now richer than us. Drive him away. The way he's going, can't you see his sense? He has taken over the business. Send this man away for he is now richer than us. One idea. God will give you an idea that will enable you to recover your destiny. Amen. If you are saying amen, say that's a amen. amen. How do we assess this idea? Number one, you must be a tighter. I don't come again. I don't bring the wine you know like to hear. <laughs> they don't like this part. God said, bring ye the tithes and the offering into my house and prove me now here with and see if I will not open to you the windows of heaven to pour you out a blessing. Ideas are for the blessed. The windows of heaven is the floodgate of inspiration. The windows of heaven is the floodgate of ideas. If there was anything I desired from Papa, Bishop Abioye, Pastor Jeme, is that creative thinking frequency. They think faster than the speed of light. They don't have retarded thinking. <laughs> they can think out anything. Some of the things I'm doing now, I didn't learn it from any university. I got it from impartation. Why? Because I'm a titan, so the team must answer on my life. Someone asked me one day, are you a pastor? I said, can't you see the grace of God upon my life? And I said, what I'm seeing you doing, it keeps me wondering if you are a pastor. I said, well, but you cannot deny my result. He said, yes. And I asked, is he allowed? I replied, do you want me to be poor? He kept quiet. I said, do you want me to be a begging pastor? He kept quiet. I said, the question you are asking is a sign that you are wicked. Because only wicked people hate good things. You know, in the olden tradition, pastors are beggars. Am I saying the truth? Pastors are pitied. God forbid. Don't be me, you go pity. People they pity, they are in the pit. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? He said, um, I want to learn from you that you have to pay a price. I subjected myself to learning. Say with me, learning. If you fail to learn, you have reduced your earning. Learning increases earning. So, tithing establishes the windows of heaven to be opened to release upon you divine ideas. So, if you are not a tighter, I want to let you know very soon you will be dry of ideas. You will soon be short of what next step to take. You will soon be short of what next to do. Wisdom is knowing the right thing and doing it. The right step to take and taking it. The right place to go and go in there. And the right thing to say and saying it. Every title is entitled to divine inspiration. Divine ideas. I will open to you the floodgates. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. When you are saying let it rain, <laughs> it's not pure water that it will rain. No. It will be raining ideas. 
It will be raining inspiration. When idea comes, they transform you. The Holy Ghost is the one in charge of insight and inspiration. And that's, when, that's why when forces want to limit you, we'll soon enter that part now. They say, don't pay tight. Can't you see all the challenges? Around? Oh, don't pay. They're just wasting your time. Pastors, they're just collecting this thing. Collect what? Collect what? I'm a tighter. My wife pay her own tight. I pay my own tight. My children, when they are blessed, they pay their own tight. So when this idea comes, they exist as at the invisible realm. Through thinking, we bring them to the visible realm. That's why God brings them to you as an idea. It's invisible. You are the only one that can picture the invisible around your life. How do I know you can picture the invisible around your life? How do you know that, uh, hey, see that thing, see that thing. They pursue me, they pursue me. How did you see it? How did you see it? So ideas can be converted to currency. You may not see it with your physical eye, but with your mind eye. You know your mind has an eye. You can be here now and see your bedroom. You are in church, but you, see, you are seeing your bedroom. You are in here now, but you, you are seeing your car parked. How did you see it? When did you travel? So with our mind, we can picture the things that we want transformed. You can picture it. So where there is no idea where to be lacking, that have ideas, they make moves. They create waves. They exercise dominion. Why? At every point in time, they know what next to do. Every time God gives you an idea and he wants a result to come to pass, he connects you with people that will sharpen you up. That's why scripture say, as iron sharpens and iron. So does a man sharpen the countenance of his friend. That sharpening there is to quicken. That sharpening there is to motivate. That sharpening there is to change the frequency. There are people you meet and you stop thinking like a local champion. There are people you meet and the poverty mentality in you will just die. But there are people you meet very soon you begin to teach like a witchcraft. That's the truth. There are people you meet very soon you begin to gossip like a witch. I'm telling you the truth. There are people you meet very soon you begin to behave like a monitoring spirit. Because they have transferred the spirit in you. It depends on what you are looking for. You know, anything you are looking for, there are people that will be sent to help confirm it. Anything you are looking for. What must I do to create wealth? Number one, I must be a consistent, a regular titer. And a giver. Some people pay their tithe in January. Say, Lord, this is the beginning of the year. Oh, this is my tithe. After that, no more. Tithing is not meant for January. Is your late January you get blessed? Anytime you get blessed, you pay your tithe. Anytime. Titan is not giving arms to our marjories. 
You are not paying tithes by giving and margaries. That's not tithes. He said, bring your tithe into my storehouse. Is a margarine now the storehouse? No, I'm asking because some people have come with too many ideologies that as long as they are helping those ones that they are paying that, it's a lie, yo. You are, you are not fulfilling scripture at all. So, a margarine is now, are they the storehouse? Giving to the poor is not even tithing. Giving to the poor is a privileged opportunity to open a door. What must I do to create wealth? Give yourself to meditation. Say with me, meditation. Engage in rigorous thinking. There is a way out. There is a way out. By meditation, you rebrand your life. You rebrand your destiny. If there is anything that I've copied very well, it's the act of creative thinking. I just see that. Do it like this. You are painting pictures. And as you are painting pictures, you are writing them down. What you want to do. You are rebranding. Anytime you rebrand, you repackage. Now hear me. Some companies will have faded out if not for creative thinking. How many of us drank cowbell when it came first? Say the truth all. You drank cowbell. Pick meek. They we are yabbing them. They say, na ye ye meek. If you know be ye ye meek, why they need a, why did they go put them for such it? The first one year cowbell came, they made a profit of 300 million. First year. Pick meek. They went and sat and said, see you. Would they call this people ye ye meek? And they are raking in profit. Now pick meek. They need a seller for such it. You didn't say that you get sense pass until you meet another person who get sense. So they copied cowbell, they started doing it in search it. So that if you want 10 naira, oh, you can buy. Am I saying the truth? Another way to increase your wealth potential is to work with creative thinkers. No wonder wealthy people don't they don't like associating with poor people. Go and check it. You'll find out what I'm telling you. Rich people always like association with the rich because it helps to sharpen them. Oh, he's thinking something new now. Okay, let me go and think my own. That's why we have association of poor thinkers. <laughs> we have association of poor thinkers association of gossipers they are in church oh. they are not outside in the church they also, we also have association of complainant commission <laughs> who do you who do you Whoever you follow or whoever you are listening to regularly, very soon, whatever is following that person will follow you. It's a rule of life. Whoever you are following and whoever you are listening to, very soon, whatever is following that person will follow you. If a rich man locates someone that will give him an idea, even if the person is in your life, he will travel. Distance is not a problem. Because he knows as he's coming back, he's coming back more refined. May that be your portion. 
In second service, I'm going to take it in a different angle. Number three, number four, put your thoughts to work. Nobody is responsible for your poverty. If your eyes are open, you'll be seeing good things. Put your thoughts to work. Exercise it. It may not work immediately, but it is working. That's why any time an idea comes, I write them down. They may not be needed now. They may need that in one year time, in two years time, in five years time. I have an idea that will be running for the next 60 years, me. For the next 60 years, I keep upgrading it, fine tuning it. Why? I must see it. What's yes, thou? You see, I see the rod of an almond tree, say, thou hast wasting. I will hasten my word. To perform it. I believe God that whatever has been limiting you, they will let go of you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say that amen. amen. In breaking invisible barriers, there are internal barriers and there are external barriers. Internal barriers are self imposed barriers. I said at the beginning, what travels in the direction of thoughts? When you begin to think bad thoughts, or you have been induced to think bad thoughts, you have imposed yourself a barrier. You have imposed yourself as a barrier. So your thoughts can limit you. It's not limiting me. Because you are the one thinking it. I'm not the one suffering it. You will be the one to suffer it. Any wrong thoughts you give yourself to, whether someone sold it to you or you bought it yourself, it imposes a barrier on you. And hear this it is cheaper to deal with an external enemy than to deal with an internal enemy. An internal enemy, they are hard to discover. enemies, you can pick their moves anytime. But internal ones, you're always with it. You don't even know it's part of what is doing you. How do I know? Take a very good look at this. One proof of an internal barrier wrong conclusion negative imagination internal barriers Jesus could not do many mighty works because of their what? because of their what? were other people blessed? were other people delivered? They will have as well been delivered, but because of their own belief. If you don't believe me, I can never be used of God to be a blessing to you. Because you have created a barrier for yourself. Not for me, yourself. A stranger can walk into this church now, believe the prophetic that is going from this altar, go with a blessing. Wrong conclusion. Without any justification. How do you suffer it? When you just conclude that uh, it cannot work. I don't think it can work. Oh, it cannot work. Wrong conclusion. Whatever you say can, will be done. Whatever you say cannot, will also, will never be done. So if you can, it can. If you say it can't, it can never. It's as simple as that. Wrong conclusion. There are too many things you, are, you have made wrong conclusion. When you go back today, write them down. Are these things true? 
Did I prove them? Who sold this wrong idea to me? How did I get myself here? Wrong conclusion. Some of the things you make wrong conclusion, they are baseless. Without facts or proofs. And you are the one suffering it. Why? Because it has limited you. It's just like the young man that I said the other time is close to Papa. Papa has blessed millions and yet he's not blessed. So I told my driver, I said, disconnect from this man. He will soon sell you the poison. You know the poison? The poison of hatred. He will soon make you hate Papa. Run away from this man. The moment you, if you follow him, you will soon die. I promise you. So he now left him. So one day he now told him that uh, I'm no longer seeing you again. Pastor said, I should run away from him. He said, which pastor? He said, Pastor Tony. So one day he now came and said, you want to see me? I said, don't come and see me. It's like you're a devil. So he had me out first. I said, have you changed? You can't be cursing and abusing my prophet and be my friend. I will fight you. Go. So he now said that he has changed. That his wife too has changed. You know, if something goes wrong with the husband, it must go wrong with the wife. So they now say they have changed. And I told Joseph, oh yeah, bring them. Let me hear them now. And he's closer. He should have been closer than me. A prophet is never regarded in his hometown. So if grace is flowing, it will not flow to him. Tell your neighbor, be careful. It was so bad, they were having attacks. I hear Papa will just speak a word and someone will be hid in China. Papa will just speak a word and someone will be hid in Gombe. I hear someone is dying under your nose. Wrong conclusion. That's placed the limit. Another aspect of a self-imposed barrier is negative imagination. Thinking forms image. As scripture says, as a man thinketh in his heart. So uh, you are getting conformed regularly to what you are thinking. And anytime you enter this direction, you weaken yourself and you strengthen your problem. Your problem becomes strengthened. And hear me, the enemies know when things are going wrong in your life. Oh, you don't know they see too. They see. So when things begin to go wrong, they become strengthened to attack you. They become strengthened to attack you. They become strengthened to attack you. Your enemy does not have strength to attack you if you have not empowered the base for him to reach out to you. But today as we rise up to pray very shortly, whatever look like an invisible barrier afflicting you financially, that barrier must break. Like I mentioned before we started, I don't know if that man is here. If you are here, raise your hand. The man that I talked about. I don't know if he's here, whether he's here or in overflow. He said he saw in a dream someone came and pulled the rope of his generator and he was trying to stop the man. He couldn't. He called his father and told him that this is what he saw in the dream. His father was telling him the man is a good man. Your enemies come as your friends. His father said, the man is a good man. All of a sudden, they didn't understand what was happening. His business went down. He's now struggling to pay children's school fees. Hear me? An external enemy can take advantage of your ignorance and fire an arrow. But whoever has fired you an arrow, today their arrow will go back. God did not place a limit on you on how far you can go. God did not ordain you for poverty. Scripture says, whatsoever the righteous do, it shall do what? Prosper. That's why we are going to be taking advantage of the anointing. Scripture says, it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken away from thy shoulder 
and his yoke from off thy neck and because of the anointing every yoke shall be destroyed when this anointing comes upon you he says it shall quicken our mortal bodies you hear me the anointing has a way of increasing your frequency of creative thinking the holy ghost is in charge is the custodian of the wisdom of god no one has to say we have the mind of christ that mind is an anointed mind it's not only your spirit that is anointed your mind is also anointed when your mind becomes anointed good things begin to flow from your thoughts if you are given to bad thinking please go and check again whether you have the mind of christ or whether you have the mind of satan paul said the god of this age has blinded the minds of many he can blind your mind from going forward from seeing good things but when the anointing comes it comes like a yoke destroyer every yoke the devil has placed upon you today it will go from fire if you are saying amen say better amen. amen that's why you are going to rise up to your feet right now we're going to pray everybody rise up to your feet we're going to pray second service i'll be focusing on supernatural wisdom how poverty starts how you can have 100 million and still end up as a poor man yes Mike Tyson was very wealthy in millions. He had over 100 cars. As I'm wearing this color of suit now, he will have a car that has this color. But after he retired from boxing, he has gone back to street fighting. Money can never make you rich. It is having the mindset that makes you rich. I will focus on that in second service. He has gone to ghetto boxing. He came from ghetto boxing. Made millions. If he's wearing red, not red car. But today, he has sold off everything. And he has gone back to street fighting. We will focus on that in second service. No be winch, do I know? Studio put the prayer. That's for second service. Whoever, and whatever is behind misfortune and limitation in my life by the anointing let I command vengeance of destruction upon them before we pray this prayer hold on so that you won't be shooting yourself arrow yes because any prayer you pray has something to do with you if you know you are not born again you want to make it right with Jesus so that you'll be delivered and be freed. So that this prayer will have all round effect in your life. Wherever you are, inside and outside, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, come. I'll be the one to anoint you here. God bless you. Come quickly. Come quickly. Pastor, pour the oil. Fast, pour the oil. Bring it faster. Pour, please. If you are coming, come. God bless you. I'll be the one to anoint you. Come wherever you are.